Grace and peace, welcome to Sabbath School Study Group. This is the final part of our five-part series on unity in faith, how what we believe brings us together and who we believe. And the greatest truth, the greatest belief of all, is salvation in Jesus Christ. In fact, when we go to this verse in Acts chapter 4, verse 12, it reminds us, neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none of the name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. It's good to know, Father, that because of Jesus, we have been saved. Speak to us now in his name. Amen. The idea of salvation, this blanket that now covers humanity because of what Jesus has done in casting his robe of righteousness upon us all. Jesus paid it all and paid it for all. Say it again. Jesus paid it all and he paid it for all of us. This is the good news, and it is an opportunity for everyone, and the only way to lose it is not to take advantage of it. It is not because it is not promised to you. Romans chapter 3 verse 24 says it this way, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. We have been justified freely, freely meaning not only does it not cost, but freely in that it precedes our request. It is freely given. It is given before we knew that we needed it. In fact, verse 25 says, whom God has set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God. Who's doing all this work? Who's doing all this, this work or this activity of propitiation? It's the father through his son. And the activity of salvation is accomplished by what they did on our behalf. In fact, Acts chapter 10, verse 43 says to him, give all the prophets witness that through his name, whosoever believeth in him shall receive remission of sins. Keyword here, whosoever, all that they have to do is believe. What are they believing in? In him. Believing in he who has done what he said in Romans 3.24. Believing in him who has said what he's done in Romans 3.25. Believing in him who has remitted our sins. And that's why 1 John chapter 2 verse 2 can declare he is the propitiation for our sins. And not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. In other words, he didn't just do it for those who are reading this letter. In other words, your salvation is not in the access to this letter. Your salvation is in believing in what Christ has created for you. The access that he's accomplished through his salvation. The good news of the gospel. That's why our job is so important to teach and to preach and let other people know. That's why this ministry is so important. That's why your life and your ministry are so important. We need to let everybody know the good news is not just for good ears. The good news is for all ears. And no matter what's in those ears, on those ears, or around those ears, they need to know he is a propitiation for your sins. In other words, he's the one who's made it right so that you can be right. He's the one who has set us free so that now you can be free. Jesus paid it all and he paid it for all of us. The idea of the gospel going to the whole world is really born on the back of the idea that it's a gospel for the whole world. Let me say that again. There's a lot of emphasis on the idea of getting it to the whole world. But what I recognize is that we as quote believers, we got to truly believe that it's a message for the whole world. That's what removes my obligation and it takes me out of my walls of limitation when I recognize everybody needs to know that God loves them. Everybody needs to know that the Lord has lived a life for them that they can now live again. This is a word that is best heard by how we live, not just by what we say. Jesus paid it all and he paid it for all of us. So I know we may be scrambling and say, well, well, how can I get everybody to believe? How can I get those who don't believe to believe? You know how you can do that? You know how we should do that? You know where we start? We start by believing it ourselves. Believe he paid it all, meaning all of your stuff, all of your sins, all of our junk has been justified. 
when I recognize and see the totality of my victory and, and the power and the thoroughness of his cleansing, it is what drives me out to say, man, I got to tell somebody else. He's loved me so much. He's done so much for me. I got to do it for you. Let's start changing the world by letting Jesus change us. If we do this heart by heart, one by one, each one reach one, and that one starting with me, we will know and we will tell and others will believe. Neither is there salvation in any other, but there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must, we can, and if we believe, we will be saved.